highly blissed from this everyone it's your girl nikki and i'm back with another video today's video we're going to be talking about your subconscious mind and how the things that are embedded in your subconscious mind can manifest in your reality and that's what's been driving your life the things that you're telling yourself that becomes autopilot becomes living things or situation in your life I want you to just listen to an audio sent to a sibling of mine. We were, you know, just vibing first night and I, you know, was expressing to her certain things that we are going through is because of how we think and what we feel because um, our feelings are set inside. It's not somebody walking around and you're saying, oh, look at my feelings walking around. No, your feelings are inside. So whatever you're feeling, it's, it's, it's actually imprinting things in your subconscious mind so whether you're feeling sad or happy it's going to leave an imprint there so i just want you to listen to this audio and let me know what you think because i i understand that a lot of people going through different issues or situations and this not only would benefit my sister but it will benefit others as well because i listened to the audio and i'm telling you it made sense to me when i listened to it again so i wanted to share this to you and let you know that um, you're not the only one thinking like this and there's ways out of it by reprogramming your subconscious mind. There's a lot of videos on YouTube where you see a lot of people talking about reprogramming their subconscious mind. It's a reality. It is a fact. And if you try this yourself, you'll realize your life will change. So listen to this audio that I'm about to play and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching this video today. Have a highly blissful day. See ya. Yeah, I have to share this with you because I went to bed last night and then, you know, I was just vibing, you know, everything that we talk about and everything. And one thing we can say to you, Tanya, yeah? Your subconsciousness, have the old story in there so what what drives you without you even know you know like how you breathe and your your heart beats and you know things just function automatically without you have to tell it to do it your subconsciousness is like that so basically your thoughts and your experiences and everything that you've been through is in your subconscious mind because it's left an imprint so what it does is that it keep on replaying the situation over and over and giving you the results you're getting. Because you're thinking, you probably think, but Jesus of his mercy, we go through this already. Why this happened to me again? Because it's in your subconscious thoughts, which is your, your the one that drives you. And that's why you have the same kind of situations over and over. When I was going through hell and back, which, you know, I mean, I had no more because I changed the words on me use. I was doing just the same. We did it in an autopilot. So every time I feel a way, I go back and think about something will happen and say, yes, that's why I feel so. I'm bringing the two together. Not realizing, say, me affirm it more if you make it come to reality. Because the more you talk about it, the more it will come. So if you can change slowly without any like push or restraint or any like frustrations, just take your time and do it and just. Try remember when you think about certain things. You stop yourself immediately and replace it with something that you would want instead of something that already happened, if you know what I mean. So change it into a positive thought like, you know, me and the kids so healthy and we, you know, we always provide it for, you know what I mean? Change it. So every time you think a negative thought is because of the subconsciousness in, in program that we had in foundation is like that. So in order for you to get rid of that, you have to slowly change it. And don't get frustrated with yourself, Tanya. And don't tell yourself, say, oh, it's not work on this. No, because it's going to change it back into the old pattern. Remember when you have a habit, it's something that is developed over time. So you now get rid of it immediately. You just have to keep on working and exercising the brain because the muscles of the brain is the only way you can exercise it is like doing affirmations and meditations and stuff and try to... You know, get out the negative, you know, um, experience and situations you had and replace them with positive ones. But it's going to take a time because it's just like if you're at the gym, you're not going to build muscle and look like Mighty House immediately. Mighty Mouse, no, you're going to look. It's going to take a while. You're going to go through pain, ache, 
discomfortness. Sometimes you don't even want to do it. So my point is just take your time with yourself. But remember, your subconsciousness is driving you. So anything will happen to you in your life right now is because it's embedded and implanted in your mind, in your subconscious mind. All right? I love you so much. Love you. Tell the kids hi. I know I'm not check up on them much. But we're going to start making more of an effort to, you know, bond with the kids and try to see if our kids can come together because we need each other, Tanya. We need. We can't be on earth alone. Not just me and you. We all need each other. You get me? So have a highly blissful day. And, you know, just keep positive. If you feel yourself a go, you know, it's not, bring your back to salt. You get what I'm saying? Just take your time with yourself and you'll get through it. I promise you, you'll get through it. But just exercise the muscle of your brain. You hear? Love you.